So what is up, everybody? It is Rodak with Rodax Revival. I just wanted to come in here quickly and talk about the Malcolm Stewart, Marvin Muskan drama since they posted the close-up video today. And you can kind of hear what Malcolm had to say and what Marvin had to say. So I wanted to come in here, share the video, kind of break it down and give my thoughts on it. So for me, on the recap video that I made, I initially said that I didn't think it was a clean pass. It might have not have been super dirty where he T-boned him, but it just it just seemed like it didn't make sense and that's exactly what i said in my recap video i was like this it didn't make sense it was early in the race he made it harder for both of the guys i can understand why malcolm would be mad and now that we have this close-up perspective where we can hear what they're kind of saying let's just see what they had to say now unfortunately guys i tried to put some of the clips in here i was just doing it piece by piece and kind of commentating over it but when i tried to upload it to youtube it says it was a copyright claim by feld so appreciate it thanks a lot feld if you guys want to see the original video, it'll be down in the description, but it looks like I'm only going to be able to post my thoughts about it. It started off with Malcolm looking like he was super pissed off and he was going to just give Marvin all the business, but Malcolm is actually pretty rational when it comes to him just explaining to Marv, like, dude, if you just race smarter, we could have both been on the podium. Why did you take me out? But then you can also hear Marv give his reasoning why and basically blaming Malcolm on why didn't you break. For me, I can't agree with Marvin here just because I know we can't see it in this video, but if you go back and watch, I, I know Malcolm knows Marvin is there, but I don't think he thought Marvin was just gonna completely cut the corner in half and go for the takeout. Uh, Marvin was pretty good ways back. Like I said, at the end of the day, it just doesn't make sense to me on why Marvin would make that move then. I can understand if there's a few laps to go in the race, but it was like, what were we? Just a couple of laps in. I just don't understand the move. He completely cut the corner in half, took them both out. And we might have some people that disagree with me in the comments, and that's absolutely fine. Everybody is entitled to their opinion and that rubbing is racing, and I absolutely agree. I love to see rubbing is racing, but in this context, looking at, I judge every single one of them differently. And in this context, I just don't see the rationale from Marvin. I don't know, it just made it seem like he didn't like Malcolm for some reason and was just like, hey, I'm taking you out not to try to gain a position, but taking you out just because I have something against you. And I don't believe that's the case, but it looks that way just based off of the how the move was made. So for me, do I think it's dirty? No, it's not dirty. It's not Michael Lessie just T-boning Brock Tickle years back or anything like that, but that I think it was ultimately clean either. No, I thought it was just a dumb decision on Marvin's part, to be completely honest with you. They were running great. I think Marvin, he ended up fourth. He could have probably ended up on the podium if he didn't go for that move. Malcolm could have had a better position than probably seventh as well. So do I think it's dirty? No. Do I think it's clean? That's also no. It's just kind of in the middle. It just seems like a dumb move based on where they were at at the track, how many laps they had left. All those different kind of variables play into, play into it, but... Yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion. Go ahead and leave your opinions down in the comments. I would love to hear them on what you think of it. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.